Hello Preppsters, welcome back to yet another video for you and today we are going to discuss about TCS code with our registration process. Yes, a great great news for all of the 2024, 25, 26 and 27 students that TCS code beta has been announced and we did go live the last day about it. So we are here the next day with the registration process so Preppinsta at your service all the time and at every step. Alright, so the registration process for TCS Code Beta is quite simple if you are already a TCS Next Step Portal registered user. If you're not, it's going to be a little tedious, a little longer process. But don't worry, we already have a complete video on step-by-step -step registration process on the TCS Next Step Portal. So you can watch this complete video right over here. The link will be there in the description box below. So go first, register yourself as a TCS Next Step Portal user. Then come back and complete the registration process for the TCS Code Builder. Alright, so we are going to start off with the Code Builder registrations and the ID that I'm going to use is already registered on TCS Next Step Portal. We will be logging there again. So just follow the entire process once you are already a Next Step Portal user. Alright, let's begin with the first step here. So first you have to click on the registration button. The link of the registration page will be there in the description box. Don't worry. So if you are already a registered user on CodeBeta and you enter your username or email ID. If you're not, if you're a new user to TCS CodeBeta, click on register. Once you click on register, you will have to uh, select your country or region. So we are going to select India over here. Now, students who are completing the academic course in the year 2024 to 2027 are eligible. So 24, 25, 26 and 27 students are eligible. All right, so first name, let's enter the first name here. Let's enter the second name, your email. All right, so this is the email that I have registered on uh, the Next Step portal. All right, and then select a basic, your username. All right, the username that you would want to uh, be uh, addressed as. So I agree to the terms and conditions. So you have to click here. All right, you cannot check box on the second box. You have to click on the hyperlinked text here and then you have to accept it. So it will automatically accept or tick the box over here. All right, once you filled in all the form, click on register. Once you click on register, now this is another step that you will have to do, which is mobile authenticator setup. All right, you need to set up a mobile authenticator to activate your account. This is the activation process. Install one of the following applications on your mobile, either a Microsoft Authenticator or open the application and scan the barcode. So I already have the Microsoft Authenticator in my phone. I'm going to scan that just uh, download the entire uh, process, the entire app and then just scan it. All right. So you're going to scan a newer process here. I would want to scan new. Okay. So I'm going to scan 440693. 440. So I have the OTP here. You have to be very quick. It changes just within 20 seconds. So I have already authenticated my QR code and I am inside the TCS portal, TCS code with a portal. Now the registration over here is very basic, very, very simple. All you have to do is you have to set up your profile over here. All right. So you need a contact number. I'm going to uh, enter the contact number over here. All right. So a number, an OTP has been sent to me. I'm quickly going to put in the OTP here. And then validate the contact number. So phone number verification is already done. A very simple step, enter your phone number, send the OTP, enter the OTP and your mobile number is verif verified. And then you have to choose the academic year of graduation, 24, 25, 26 or 27. You can either belong to any of these Batches. So I'm going to use 2024. Nearest TCS location. Now, why have they given this? In the last uh, live session, I had told about uh, this particular idea that the grand finale of TCS Code Beta will be held in India. All right. So for that grand finale, they are going to ask for your nearest TCS location. All right. The competition might be online or offline that the official schedule is not here yet. But the grand finale will be there in India offline and that is why they are asking for the location. Institute name, let me just quickly write this institute name. Now, this is where you need your next step portal ID, right? So the CT or DT reference ID, as you can see, they have mentioned right over here. Create a CT or DT reference ID from next step portal 
if left empty you will not be getting any interview call even if you clear the round so even if you are clearing the entire round you will not receive any interview call if you are not already registered on TCS next step portal right so let's quickly come on to this particular page this is the home page of TCS next step portal all right so we can click either register now if you are not already a registered user register here this entire video is going to help you out for the registration process of TCS next step portal but since we are already registered user, we are going to click on login over here and login ourselves. All right. So we are going to enter the ID here and then we are going to receive an OTP or uh, a code. So let's quickly enter the capture. Okay. Moving forward. So as you can see, we are going to get an OTP verification on our mail ID. So I'll quickly enter that. Just give me a second. Okay. So I have the OTP now, let me just enter this quickly. All right, there it is. Once you get that, you can, you are logged in now on your next step portal dashboard. All right, once you are here, you can see that the DT reference ID is right over here. If I just want to zoom in, you can see the DT reference ID is right over here. So select this DT reference ID from here, we'll go back to your code with our page and enter the DT ID here. All right, remove the brackets on the uh, either ends. So you have it here and just click on save. Once you do that, your profile changes have been saved successfully. And voila, you are a TCS code with a registered user. So now you can enter the competition, be one of the top best coder around the world, globally best coders around the world and stand a chance to win a huge, huge awards and prizes and, um, you know, interview callbacks, placements and so on and so forth because TCS Corpita is used to get you placed in the TCS Ninja and TCS Digital profile in TCS, right? So that's a great news and a great opportunity for all 24, 25, 26 and 27 users. All right. So also there's one very important thing that if you want to prepare, if you want to prepare yourself and practice the type of questions that you will be getting in the competition, the contest uh, section, the contest tab on the menu section is there for you to see what are the important guidelines. And once you just, I hereby confirm that I have read and understood the guidelines, click on this and you click on start contest. Once you click on start contest, this is your practice area. So you can practice all of the codes and see and get a hang of all the difficulty level, the type of questions that you will be getting for the code beta competition. All right, so you have the questions here. Try to confirm the answers or anything and just practice yourself and you are going to be, let's say, a step closer to be the top best coder around the world. All right, now the best thing that you need to become a top best coder around the world is questions. So we have a complete page on prepensa.com which talks about the TCS code with the previous year questions and answers. So if you want to get a quick idea or uh, knowledge about what type of questions do you get for TCS code beta, this entire page is your holy grail. All right, this is your guide. You can come here. So we have TCS code beta season 11, previous year practice questions. And you can see we have multiple questions in multiple languages uh, itself. So if you want to practice these questions, you can come here on this page, practice these questions before you're actually sitting for the competition. All right. Along with that, let me just quickly tell you that you will have to uh, have a great advanced level coding knowledge over here because you're going to compete with the top best coders. So you need a competitive coding, advanced coding knowledge, which you're going to get on Prepinster Prime in the competitive coding section. All right. So if you're a very noob in coding, start off with basic coding, move towards intermediate and then competitive coding along with data structures, which is going to help you um, pass the rounds and reach up to the uh, grand finale. All right, along with that, you can also brush off your entire programming language knowledge as well. Along with that, we also have a complete uh, technical knowledge section, which is going to just be a aiding or a helping guide to get your competitive coding level higher than all of the coders in the world. All right, so that is a very simple and easy process for you for the entire registration of TCS code beta. So we can just end the process over here. Uh, all right, we can just go back from here and you are onto the profile page. So very simple thing. The first step that you do is register yourself on the next step portal. 
the video which is going to help you offer step by step registration now let me just tell you that next step portal registration is very important and very critical you have to pay attention to every each single detail if you don't you will not be getting any hall ticket your entire candidate will be cancelled if any misinformation or wrong information or miscalculated information is provided in the tcs next step portal so be very careful watch this entire video very carefully and then fill out the form all right once that is done come to the tcs uh, code beta page get the link start registrations start your um, download the microsoft authenticator app and scan the qr code enter the details and you are registered for tcs code beta all right so if you want to get help on how to crack the tcs code beta competition as well we are going to put up a quick video on the same tomorrow or maybe maybe tonight you never know we are going to push up a new video on how to crack tcs code beta so make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video on the registration process on the preparation process and the best way to crack tcs code beta which is going to help you and open the opportunity the door of opportunity for you to get placed in this placement season all right so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel click the notification bell all right also make sure that you are following us on all of our social media handles because we are going to drop knowledge bombs everywhere on social media handles on the best ways to crack code beta and reach the grand finale along with also maybe win the contest all right so follow us on social media handles as well instagram whatsapp discord linkedin and telegram you're going to get little snippets of knowledge here and there all right so yes that is going to be your help come on to this page the link of all of the important uh, links pages and videos will be the, in the description box so you can get the links from there as well if you want to purchase revenue star prime we're running on huge sale right now so you can use the coupon code youtube and get extra discounts on already discounted prices so use the coupon code youtube and pave your way to become the best coder around the world so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any other query make sure you comment it down in the section below and we are going to help you out with every query possible all right so thank you for watching this video we are going to sign off now